And I'll be honest, the first year we put this offense in, the counter probably was the worst play we had because we didn't spend enough time making it a good football play. Uh, the second year we ran the offense, we made a conscious effort to make the counter uh, a big part of what we were doing. And the reason we did that was we started seeing so much fast flow off the back side and uh, people making, or particular linebackers, making the tackle off the back side that we had to have something that we could go back side on, some misdirection that we could go away from our motion. So the counter was something that we really concentrated on working back side, and it really turned into a good play for us. And, and uh, for a long time now, we've been able to pick up a lot of yardage on the counter. Our misdirection, misdirection, excuse me, C-gap running play designed to exploit a defense over pursuing the flanks. Uh, I've got a coach in the box, and the first thing I want to know when we run a down, when we run a jet, I want to know if the back, if there's a backside linebacker making the play, or if there's a backside linebacker forcing the play. Because if it is, we're going to run where he left from. We're going to give him motion one way and try to get something going back to where that particular player left from. So that's the first thing I asked of my coach in the box: is who made the play and where did he come from? I'm not concerned with it being on the play side but I do want to know if we get it from the backside. It's distinctive because it gives us good angle blocking, uh, surprise element, great misdirection off the jet, forces the defense to be disciplined. It can be run off the jet sweep or the rocket sweep. And our goal is to build a wall inside, kick out the edge, and wrap through the play side linebacker in the box. And I'll show you how we block this. And, and uh, what we do at West Lauderdale is, you know, maybe different from what you do. It's vitally important that no penetration occurs during the development of this play. Our kids hear this until they're sick of hearing it. Uh, we absolutely spend a great deal of time working on getting our face across the numbers so that we don't get any penetration. Now, when we do this, the side of the line of scrimmage that's tracking down, and I'll show you this when I get to the diagram, they actually move to level one. Their level moves up, so instead of their ear hole in the hip of the center, they're crowding the football as much as they can crowd the ball so they can get engaged uh, just a little bit quicker. Tight end track down, lead step, get, get, uh, inside foot, get face across. Play side tackle, track down, lead step with inside foot, get face across. Play side guard, track down, lead step with inside foot, get face across. Center has the same block. Our backside guard is going to uh, steal second base. He snatches out hard. Turn, stays low, doesn't lose ground, kicks out the man covering the tight end, aiming at the inside shoulder. Backside tackle is going to get a bucket. Uh, he, he actually wants to take his inside foot and put it on the backside foot of the, of the pulling guard. That's what we try to teach him. Take your inside foot and put it on the outside foot of that guard, and that should give you enough uh, room to actually turn into the hole and get your eyes inside on the linebacker. Now, if we do get penetration, he has to pick up trash if it shows. This is our blue formation, and we're running 254 counter. We're working it off the down. And we're running this play off the down, but you notice we've got jet motion one way, and we're going to fake the down with our fullback. Now, what we're doing, what we've taught these guys is track down. I know a lot of you guys run this, and you'll combo block. You'll actually combo block, and uh, you'll, you'll combo drive with, with your eyes inside and come off. And, and we tried that, to be honest with you. Our guys never grasped the concept. But we've gained a million miles tracking down on these people. So that's what we do at West Lauderdale. It works for us. So if we're tracking, I've got, I'm tracking back gap. If nobody shows gap, go back side. On this particular play, the center is going to track back. He should get his face across the one tech. Uh, the play side guard is, is gapping down. Nobody shows. His track takes him next level. Play side tackle, he tracks down. He's got a, basically a four eye in his face or a three. He's got to get his face across and not allow any penetration. Our tight end, flat step down, protect the gap. Nobody shows. Seal off next backer on second level. Now, again, the ball is, the ball is snapped inside leg since we're not getting the football with our halfback. Our fullback is going to fake the down. His track is going to take him inside leg of the pulling backside tackle. That's where he's at there. Now, we'll see our, our backside guard with the pull and kick. Our backside tackle. He's going to pull and wrap. Again, when he pulls, he's got two feet in the hole. There's one foot. There's one foot. As this gentleman pulls out, as he steps, his inside foot, his inside foot's on the backside foot of that guard. And that's going to give him enough room, hopefully, to make the turn into the hole. It's been pretty successful for us 
uh, in getting his shoulders turned so that he can engage. So we get a kick and we get a wrap right there. Now, again, the reason we run this is because we're having a lot of success running our weak side jet or running our down play, and we're getting a lot of fast flow from these guys. Again, I want to know if he's making the play or if he's pursuing hard any time we run uh, away from him because if he leaves, we're fixing to run right where he left from. That's the first thing I want to know. So we get an open. Now, the technique of this gentleman right here, uh, in the past, we tried where we'd shuffle him back two steps and let him get his shoulders turned to the hole. What we do now is we tend to open hard toward the fullback. He's going to open with a left step, cross over with a right step, and swing off of his right foot straight to the hole. Now, his aiming point is going to be the inside leg of the tackle. His track's probably going to carry him a little wider. That's okay. If you get this thing tracked in and the keep, the hole is there. So uh, that little bit of room won't make a whole lot of difference. Remember, well, it's a four-hole to us. It's a four-hole to us, and we're not so much concerned if it's big gap or C gap. We're hunting the hole is all we're finding there. But it's a, what we tell our guys, open, step, swing. Open, step, swing to get his shoulders turned in the right position and to get enough depth to get into the hole. That would be open, step, swing. Been a really, really good play for us. Okay, blue 248 fag. Uh, we're going to try to get our fullback involved. And the reason we term it this is something our kids would understand, but it really means fullback and guard. That's all it means here, guys. Uh, we're going to take our fullback and our guard right there. And, uh, and again, our kids, they happen to remember uh, the blocking rules on this particular play. We're going to fake the rocket, which is 248 for us. And, and really, some of the best counters we've had have been off our rocket fake. It's just for some reason when the defense sees that quarterback turn and fake that pitch, everybody wants to fast flow at that point. And when they do, it creates some really good running lanes off the backside. Here's what happens on our rocket play. The tracks are exactly the same as they are on the play that we just saw, the diagram we just saw. Everybody does the same thing with the exception of the backside tackle who's now going to flat step down and field. He's going to flat step down and field because you don't have the fullback filling. On all of our rocket plays, if our fullback is in direct midline behind the center, if we run the rocket, he's going to feel backside. He's going to feel backside. And we want, him, we, tell him, we want that defensive end hit every single play because it's going to set up the counter. Now, on this particular play, we're going to fake the rocket. And if we're not snapping that football until the quarterback loses complete sight of him, and we'll go over that with the rocket play in a few minutes. But our fullback is going backside, and when he gets there, he's the kicker. He's the guy that's going to kick the defensive end. Our fullback is. Okay? Our backside guard then becomes the wrapper. He's going to turn, and he's going to wrap in the hole. That's what we're getting. Now, what a simple rule for us is this. If we run a fag counter, and our fullback is in the midline position behind the center, he is the kicker every single time, and the guard is the wrapper. We will run the exact same play, but we'll take our fullback and put him in a minus set. We'll draw this like that guy's not there. We'll put him in a minus set and still run blue minus 248 fag. Now, if he's in an offset, if he's in a minus set, these guys know in a minus set the guard is the kicker, and the fullback is the wrapper at that point. And we'll give it to this gentleman coming back. Open step, swing to the hole. Okay? Either way, this has been a good play for us. I mean, the, the, the counter, either way you run it, whether you run it with him in this position, whether you run it with him in a minus set, either play is a good play for us. Uh, again, the counters have been really, really good. Whether we're running off a of flat motion, and I'll go back one, whether we're running off a of flat motion here, like our 254, faking the jet and the, and, the, and the down, or we run it off of our rocket motion and we get our fullback involved as either the kicker uh, or the wrapper if he's in a minus set. Both of those have been great plays for us.